If the Romans had their way, we would remember Queen Cleopatra of Egypt as a depraved and power hungry woman, a woman with lavish tastes and promiscuous lures that corrupted the highest rungs of Roman leadership. However, there was more to the last pharaoh than her stunning beauty. In this episode, we travel back over 2,000 years to the sands of ancient Egypt to unravel the mysterious tale of Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, whose allure extends far beyond her political machinations and legendary romances. Beyond her throne lay a lesser known passion, a deep-seated fascination with science. From alchemy to astronomy, Cleopatra's quest for knowledge was as fervent as her rule. But as we peel back the layers of time, a question emerges from the sands. Was Cleopatra a visionary scientist, or did her experiments verge on the realms of the mad? Stay with us as we explore the life of Cleopatra, visionary or mad scientist. In the waning days of ancient Egypt's glory, Cleopatra ascended the throne, marking her reign as the culmination of both political intrigue and cultural richness. Born into the Ptolemaic dynasty, a lineage descended from one of Alexander the Great's generals, Cleopatra was not just a queen, she was a scholar, a diplomat, and a formidable scientist. Her rise to power wasn't just a political maneuver, it was a deliberate strategy to rejuvenate Egypt's fading prominence on the world stage. Under her reign, Alexandria wasn't merely a city. It was the intellectual beacon of the world. Home to the legendary library of Alexandria, this metropolis attracted scholars, philosophers, and scientists. In these halls, scrolls containing the wisdom of the ancient world were not just preserved, they were studied and expanded upon. It was here that Cleopatra herself studied, embracing the city's vibrant intellectual life to feed her ambitious scientific pursuits. As queen, Cleopatra wielded her power in ways that extended far into the realms of science, albeit through methods that would appear ruthless by today's standards. She turned the palace into a laboratory where life and death hung in the balance. Anticipating Roman forces to destroy her dynasty, she explored the effects of various poisons on prisoners condemned to death. Cleopatra used these tests to see which poisons would offer her the fastest and least painful way to die. This was a dual opportunity to further her knowledge and test the loyalty of her servants. Using tinctures, which were mixtures of plant extracts dissolved in alcohol, Cleopatra would note how long it took the prisoner to die and which side effects resulted. Some prisoners experienced seizures and nausea. From the numbing paralysis caused by hemlock to the agonizing demise from aconite, each poison was cataloged for its efficacy and speed, aiding her in her quest to find the most merciful yet effective means of execution. Although Cleopatra spent significant time researching the easiest way to die, she also experimented with cures of various ailments. Scholars have also attributed books on toxicology and cosmetics to Cleopatra. Egyptians were known for lining their eyes with black makeup. Scientists now understand that makeup contained low doses of lead, which supported the activation of nitric oxide. In her most ambitious scientific undertaking, Cleopatra turned her attention to the mysteries of childbirth. She hypothesized that the symptoms observed in pregnant women could predict the sex of the unborn child. Detailed records were kept under her watchful eye. Each craving, mood swing, and morning sickness was noted and analyzed, comparing them against the sex of the child at birth. Cleopatra's scientific inquiries, though pioneering, raised profound ethical questions. Today, her methods would be condemned, yet they paved the way for advancements in the fields she could scarcely have imagined. In the tale of Cleopatra, we see not just a story of power and seduction, but of intellectual curiosity and bold, albeit controversial, exploration. History often judges figures not just by their achievements, but by the shadows they cast.
If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you on the next one.